Next question. Uh, I understand that many asylum seekers who have entered by Rocks and Road uh, become productive workers, but they have to wait some, some time to obtain work permits. Given that Canadian businesses need workers and given the aging Canadian dem demographic, what can be done to facilitate entry into the workforce of these individuals? Uh, so thank you for the question. Uh, I don't want to uh, use Canada's asylum system as uh, our economic growth strategy. I want to use our economic migration system as our economic growth strategy and to continue to clear pathways for people to come through regular migration pathways to help fill key gaps in the labor force. That said, there is a reality that we're living with, that there are people who are crossing the border and making asylum claims, and we have to deal with those challenging circumstances in a responsible and compassionate way. I don't view it to be appropriate to deny a person the ability to work when they have no other means to support themselves as they're hearing a claim as to whether they are so vulnerable that they're in need of Canada's protection. We've recently had a shift in policy to make sure that people are able to obtain work permits before their eligibility decision to apply for asylum is rendered, which will shorten the period of time that people will go without the ability to work and support themselves. So we need to do that to remain uh, compassionate towards people who are fleeing vulnerable circumstances, uh, but not necessarily necessarily as a strategy to pursue economic growth, because we know that our regular migration pathways for economic migrants are a more effective way to pursue economic growth. So we may do the same thing you've recommended for compassionate reasons, but not necessarily for the same uh, motivation as we have other pathways to achieve those economic ends. Thank you, Minister.